Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 2. Masked Nightmare Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Patricia, and this terrifying encounter happened late one night, October of 2016. The area I live in is suburban. There's a decent amount of people traversing this neighborhood left and right, but we have a close few we truly know and remember. We got used to seeing which car actually belonged and which were guests. It was a close-knit community. The apartment complex isn't as big, with a parking lot visible from my porch. It was around 10 o'clock at night. I had just finished hanging out with my online group of friends on a YouTube livestream. I stayed a while, chatting with them, but I was beginning to feel parched and dehydrated. So I got up from my bed, put the laptop to the side, and made my way to the kitchen. I figured I'd be back quickly, so no need to take my phone. Turns out, that was a mistake. When I opened my bedroom door and walked down the hallway to the kitchen, there was a living room and then my porch. Growing up, I instinctively looked both ways. Out of habit, I turned and looked at my living room first. And as I faced the door, standing there in our parking lot was a tall man looking in at me. It was so hard to grasp the concept, I blinked and looked again. He was undeniably there, staring intently at the apartment. His hoodie was a dark hunter green color, all weathered and rough. His mask was the most unnerving. While I couldn't see a detail, a sinister grin underneath that mask is what I couldn't help but think he was doing. Instantly, my heart began pounding. Then the cold sweats began. I tried my best not to break contact, but realizing my sisters were still in their room, I looked away to see if one would walk out. When I turned back, he suddenly had started to move closer. Now closing the distance between him and I, I began to panic. I closed the blinds we had on our door and sat with my back against the wood, preventing him from coming in. I heard footsteps from outside, loud and heavy. He was pacing. Then I try not to scream as I feel and hear him knock. My heart beats faster now. He knocks again, but three more times. To my utter shock, I see the doorknob begin turning slowly. I feel a light push, and then a kick, then black. At least that's what I thought would happen. I ran to my room to fetch my phone, and when I made it out to the porch where he was, he was gone. I never saw him again, and I hope I never do, because his face, or rather lack thereof behind a mask, truly is ingrained in my memory for a lifetime. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.